Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and this is part 4 of our automated build deploy test with Team Foundation Server 2015 and Selenium. And this video series is a part of our ALM with Team Foundation Server video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about building our application and Selenium framework check-in to Team System. And this is part 2 of our video. So for understanding what is there in part two, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right. So this is the same project which we worked in our previous video. And what we saw in our previous video is that in the source controller, we actually have the application and the test framework and the test cases, right? So what is the actual test case, which is sitting inside our automation framework? So if you see the test, cases which is available in our test project this is the test uh, case which is available employee login feature a very 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 simple feature it has like uh, navigating to the website and then uh, actually we are navigating to the application uh, and we are seeing if the login page exists and if the login page exists then we are clicking the login uh, link and then we are entering the username and password and then we are uh, uh, seeing the login has happened or not and then if you see the application, this is the uh, application that we're going to really automate. And this application has a, a login link. And if you click this, uh, it will bring you up the username and password field. And if you hit the login, it will basically log in and it will show you a hello admin uh, as the uh, information there, right? So this is a pretty much a very, very uh, fairly simple uh, test case we got uh, to see whether the login is really happening or not, right? So. Actually, uh, in this video series, we are really going to talk about how to actually perform a continuous integration or the build, deploy, test workflow with Team Foundation Server 2015 itself, not how to write the test cases with Selenium or how to build the application. That's why I'm really not really focusing on how to do all these stuffs in a greater detail. Right. So if you really want to understand how this Selenium automation stuff works, basically there are a lot of video series available in Execute Automation channel to basically hook around and see how these things works. Right. All right. Great. So uh, what are we really going to do in this video then? Basically, I'm going to check in the changes uh, in our team system and then I'm going to see how this thing works. Right. So for performing a last operation here, once I click the login, uh, the login operation is going to happen and then I need to verify whether the hello admin is actually available or not. So verify the hello admin link, right? So this code is actually I have written in my scenario and you can see I should see the username with hello. So if I go to the step definition, uh, you can actually see the score very very simple uh, and simple code so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm going to reuse this code instead of me writing a lot of code there all right so there's an if condition what is this okay no problem right so this is the code which I did so I'm gonna save this basically once you do a save and then if you build the solution it should work fine without any problem and make sure that the test also execute without any problem right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this test and see if, if the test case passes without any problem so i'm going to head over to the test explorer and you can see that there is a test method called employee uh, login feature so i'm going to run this selector test so this is going to open the browser and it's going to navigate to the application so it's navigating and it should click the login link now. Yep, it is clicking. It's also entering the username and password and it should verify the hello admin. And we should see the user, oh my God. So this test case is actually failing and it says, ah, that's good. So there is a null reference exception in there. So the null reference exception is happening because we're not gonna use, uh, we're not actually using the current page. Oh, there we go. So we're actually using the page object here. So I'm going to paste that. All right. That's good. This is how we can verify whether our code is really working or not. So I'm going to run the selector test once again and make sure that my test case is actually working fine without any null pointer exceptions that you are seeing right now here. So it opened the browser. It's logging in. 
there we go and now if we go to the test explorer the test got passed which is great and if you see the output all the tests got passed success login right so this is the working test case that we got we have added some changes in here and let's say we have built something uh, not much here and then if we go to the team explorer and if you go to the pending changes you can see that the file which we have modified the employee test case .cs, should appear there we go it is there and then we need to give a comment here added verification logic right very very simple logic though and then i'm going to check in and it has created a chain set for us uh, for the check in that we have made and you can also see these scores in our team foundation server so if i go to my team foundation server basically the login and then if i go to my employee web application and if i go right here you can see that i have my home page uh, these uh, new home page dashboards will actually appear if you update your team foundation server to update one right and then if you go to this code and if you go to your ea test project or sorry uh the ea employee test and if you go to the ea employee test case dot cs there's a very lightweight editor uh, available with the uh, visual studio team foundation server 2015 web edition and you can see you can also do an editing operation here as well and uh, you can also do a check in if you want to so here you can see that the code changes that you have made in the uh, in the project is actually appearing right so this is how you can perform a code check in check out and building of your application using team foundation server 2015 of course this is not a very very great thing that i have showed you but just to prove the concept that we are also doing a build operation with team foundation server 2015 that's it guys so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day